I don't see what the problem is. Hmm. I mean, at worst, this is just a new paint job. All right, granted, that may need to get checked out. That would be a good start, paying someone to fix the thing you did. All right, yeesh, I get it. Just stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes. Let me see what I've got. Not those. Yeah, this expired seven years ago. What? They can't- I heard that! I imagine you did. Regardless, I'll need you to use real money. The kind that doesn't expire. But what if it could? Great. He's doing one of his things again. Well, at least it buys me some time. Hmm, I've got an idea so crazy it just might work. Hmm. What if money had an expiration date? Let's say we have Buck, your average young adult citizen of Buckland. He works a normal 9-to-5 job at Buckland Industries and makes somewhere in the range of $50,000 a year. But Buckland is a bit of an oddity, because their money expires in 7 days. Which is a problem for Buck. He has to live paycheck to paycheck, and by the time he gets his second pay, the first paycheck has already expired. Whether he spent it or not. What does this mean for Buck? Well, it means he'll never be able to save money. Buck's already accepted that he'll never be able to afford a house or a down payment. He may not even be able to afford a car. So if Buck needs to make a big purchase or buy something for an emergency, what can he do? Well, he could apply for a loan. Though, since money expires after seven days, wouldn't banks be struggling too? Hmm, that would depend on how they loan out money. Buckland's bank could get by if they did background checks and only loaned out money to people who could afford it. And by afford, I mean make minimum payments every week. Or they could do well if they had some kind of money renewal program. Maybe through a partnership with the government to recycle old currency in exchange for a tax or fee. If Buck did want to take out a loan, he would have only seven days to pay it off. Kind of like a payday loan. Of course, with any loan there's interest, and so Buck could easily find himself in a cycle of borrowing money and then owing more money on top of the amount he borrowed. But Buck doesn't see any need to take out a loan. He prefers to live within his means and pay all his bills on time. I mean, it would be that or face interest rates. And with how fast money expires, I don't want to even think about how high interest rates would get. Then again, if Buck can't save up, he may need those loans in case of emergencies. Buck's parents get sick and he can't pay for the help they need out of pocket, so he turns to the banks and borrows money. Now Buck is saddled with debt, debt with a high interest rate. So high that he can only pay back his minimum payments every week. That is, assuming Buck hasn't found another way to save. With the expiration of money, a side economy opens up in Buckland. While many Bucklanders would likely just focus on their day-to-day -day needs and use leftover money on luxury items like art, video games, or fancy food, others would find ways to save, namely precious resources like gold, silver, or land. Buck isn't a genius, but he isn't dumb. He knows having something that holds and grows value can be important when in a turbulent situation. So, every pay he invests a bit into gold. It doesn't buy much. Most of it had already been bought by the rich. Still, owning some gold means that Buck now has another kind of currency. Since no one in Buckland can save money, trading resources has become a market all of its own. But while Buck is doing okay, not everyone else is. Buckland has a problem with crime, as its poorer citizens find their meager amount of money vanishing right before their eyes. Unable to save any up, when things get tough, some don't see any other options. Hmm. Actually, this idea is sounding kind of familiar. Oh, right! Expiring money was actually used in Austria back in 1932. A town called Vorgel adopted money that devalued over the course of a year, hoping to revitalize the town's stagnating economy. And you know what? It worked! Well, until the project was shut down by Austria's central bank after a single year. From what I recall, they weren't huge on individual townships having their own currencies. But that's not the only other kind of money that we've seen in the real world. Conflicts can lead to new forms of currency being adopted, like in the American Civil War. And banks and companies used to be able to issue their own banknotes. There aren't any expiring currencies around right now, though Japan has experimented with negative interest rates, so that mean money saved in a bank loses value over time. Huh, I wonder how that's going. Well, maybe that's a thought for another time. 
I better get some sleep before I expire. Hey everyone, is someone cooking? Oh my god, Grill, what did I you- I tried to fight fire with fire, obviously. Oh, that's a- Grill, that's a terrible idea, why would you ever- Well, I know that Oh no, it's everywhere! Oh, god, god, Grill, Grill. 